So this time we'll talk about how to program the Arduino, not through the normal way, not through the regular USB route, but to directly program the, the firmware on the processors. Uh, now this is not something that you will typically need to do, but we're going to talk about it anyway because every once in a while you might want to upload the bootloader, to change the bootloader, update it, and it's good for you to hear you know, how you do that because it's not the regular programming process through the IDE that we normally do. So the bootloader is the name of the firmware on the, on the microcontroller. And a bootloader is just a generic term for this software. It's not just an Arduino thing. This is just uh, any kind of embedded system. A microcontroller generally has bootloader, bootloader code written into the flash. It allows the flash and the EEPROM, the non-volatile memory, to be programmed, to be programmed. So that's what you do when you upload your code. You write your code. It has to get copied or programmed into the flash memory, or the EEPROM, but usually the flash. And so in order for that to happen, there has to be code executing on the Atmega 328 that allows that to happen, that communicates with the USB interface and does this. So that's what the bootloader's main job is. The bootloader does a few other things, but that's its main job, to allow the uh, flash to be, to be rewritten and the EEPROM. Uh, also, it handles issues with reset and things like that, but that's its main job. So it manages the USB communication and allows programming. Uh, so now, the, the catch is that the bootloader can't reprogram itself, right? So if you do want to update, update the bootloader, you can't ask the bootloader to reprogram the bootloader, right? So what you do is if you want to update the bootloader, you can't do it through the normal USB interface using the bootloader. Instead, you have to use a different interface. So that's what in-circuit serial programming is for, ICSP. That's an interface to the board, the special pins on the board, through which you can program the bootloader. Now, you can program anything, you can, but it's just a sort of a more direct route, not non-USB route, to program the processors on the board, the microcontrollers on the board. And the only time you would ever need to use ICSP is if you want to update your bootloader. Uh, because otherwise, if you're just updating the application code, you would use the normal USB route. But the ICSP uh, ports are made so you can update the uh, bootloader directly and the firmware, the, essentially the firmware directly. So if you look at the board, it's got two ICSP ports because there are two processors, right? There's the Atmega 328, which is the main one, but there's also the Atmega 16U2, which is for the USB communication, right? And that also has firmware on it. It has code running on it. And if you want to program either one of those two, you have to use their ICSP ports, their ICSP headers. So there's one ICSP header right near the Atmega 16U2, and there's another ICSP header for the Atmega 328. And what you would do if you want to program these two is you have to use a special de programmer device that you have to buy separately. And you would connect it to those pins. And then you could use it and a different piece of software to, uh, to program those, uh, those, the, the firmware on both of those parts. So this, these headers are available for your use. The only time you need them is if you're rewriting the bootloader. And in this class, we're not going to do that. If you're changing the bootloader, you're beyond this, the scope of this class, basically. You, if you can rewrite a new bootloader, then you don't need this class. Uh, you can move right on. But if you, uh, that's what they're for. You should be aware of what they're for in case there ever is a need in the future to update a bootloader, do some sort of an update, maybe security update or something like that. Thank you.